Hello guys, Sheriff here. So we're gonna start off where we left off. So in the last video we created like basic movement. So now let's add a rotation to him and let's grab some animations. And this is gonna explain how to get a node. So we need to actually go into player here, grab this node and then we could call its animations. Alright, first we need to get its rotation. So let's go maybe down here, right before move and slide. Let's put it this behind here. Tear this up. So you want to check its velocity, like its x and z velocity. We want to check if it's moving, and then we rotate towards its angle, whatever the x and z velocity. So let's say if <coughs> new vector two. Let's grab velocity. Oops, velocity. Dot x and velocity dot y. Dot length. Greater than zero. This means he's moving. So we want to rotate to the direction he's moving to. So we need to grab his rotation. So let's go up here and create a variable public float rotation angle. Call it that. Let's set it to zero initially. Let's grab this and come down here. Say rotation angle equals mm, new vector two velocity dot z and velocity dot x dot angle. There you go. And then we need to apply that. So let's first grab his rotation so vector. Three R O T current rotation rotation we see root dot y say mat f this is a use function lowercase f and then we say lerp angle so we need its current y so whichever one from root dot y to the new rotation angle and we could pass in a value here uh, let's just say 10 times delta for now and we need to cast this to a float I believe all right and now we could apply it back so we say rotation rotation equals rot all right, let's save that. Let's just check if it's running now. And run, or rerun. Something seems off. All right, let's do one other thing as well. Let's go back to code. We're gonna grab the camera. So we see basis, cam basis. You could think of basis of how much you're facing in a certain direction. Say you're standing forward, how much your forward is facing, how much your left side is facing, and how much your, I guess, stop side is facing towards its origin, if that makes sense. You could look it up if you're confused about it. Equals get viewport, but get camera 3D. Oops. Viewport's a function. Get camera 3D. That basis, and we could just multiply this here. So cam basis times new vector two. Now, whenever we run this, it should all be direct with the camera. So I'm just pressing up. Yeah. Oh no, it's working fine. Oh yeah, that was because of that. World coordinates are being weird. All right, so now let's grab the animation. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so to grab an animation, the, the animation node, let's first create a public 
animation player. And then let's call this anim for now. Then in the red function, we need to say anim equals get node. And we have to cast it to be an animation. So animation player or set its type to be an animation player. And then its name here. And I think it's just animation player. Let's double check. Yep, animation player. Now we could go down here. Let's create a function to handle animations. So let's do right here. Let's call it animate animate public void animate. All right. So first, you want to check if is on floor is on floor. We're gonna say if new vector two. Could just copy this is greater than zero that means he's walking so we're gonna say anim dot play just put walk else you want to play idle so anim dot play oops play idle then else here now else if it's not on the floor so else anim dot play. I don't want to use state machines because that's a whole another topic. So let's play jump. I think it's jump and not jumping. Let me double check. Okay, it's just jump. All right. So let's go here. Make sure I saved and follow. All right. So we have idle plane and he's walking. Jumping. I could reduce that jump speed, jump velocity. Let's put it at four. All right. We. All right. That should be it for this tutorial. Uh, next. What else are we gonna do? Um, I'm gonna start working on the camera. Or let's just do that right now. So what you want is let's go on the game cam. Create a new class for that. So we could call it game cam. Let's store it in the scripts folder. Game cam CS create. All right, so we need a few stuff here. Could export or let's just, hmm, what's the safest way to do this? I could either export to get a reference to the character or let's just grab it. So, so var, oops, not var. I keep saying var. Um, public. Uh, character body 3D target. I could use a no 3D here, I don't have to use um, because I just need its position. And this is what I was talking about it's not auto completing again. So now I have to shut it down completely and open it up again. Now let's see what happens. So public override uh, void. Oh, public. There you go. Oh. All right. So the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna grab his parent. So get parent, and then get node and player this is not a good way to do it but it should be fine so let's cast this to a node uh, node 3d all right now every frame I want to just stick with it, follow it override void process that thing's gonna drive me crazy. Then, what are we gonna do here now? So, you want to get a reference to its, or we don't have to get it, just say position equals 
target dot position. That should be fine. Let's double check. What's the error? Let's see. Yeah, I had the wrong thing here. So let's look back here and see. So it's character. My mistake. This is why this is not a good way to do it. Because the node could change. Could get the node in the group, maybe. That would be a better way. But for now, let's just do character. Alright, let's save. And go from there you go. And now we're good. Alright, guys. Next video, we're gonna um work on the enemies. Take care, like and subscribe. See you in the next one guys.